Hello and welcome to Reactive Trained ER. In the today's hospital appointment, we're dealing with some really sick FMS FCX 24 M's. And they're really sick. It's, it's a bit of a tongue. It's, it's a ma- FMS FCX 24. Mm. Just call it the Camel Trophy Truck. Camel Trophy Trucks. Uh, and there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Is throw a manual at the problem. <laughs> Is it fixed? It doesn't work. Okay, cool. Um, right, so we've sent an email. We have sent a very polite email because there's nothing wrong with these. These things are great trucks. They are fantastic looking, but we do have multiple issues that really... And, I, you know, look, I've posted a video. A lot of people are like, yeah, just bypass the on-off switch. And if this was a six-month-old truck, I would have cut the wires and sold them together and bypassed it already. These are less than a month old. I don't want to do that just yet. Yeah. <laughs> However, this one here is working the problem being is that it only goes backwards it doesn't go forwards it doesn't do anything now i noticed in the manual last night that there is a way of recalibrating the handset to the model so i'm going to go and find that page again i think it's actually i can't uh it's in there somewhere between all these ones d dogs kid and the next one i'm sure it's in that one yeah all right, so in your manual, you'll find a little subsection that says stick calibration. I don't like the sound of that. It says this function is used to set the neutral position for the throttle trigger and steering wheel. Every transmitter is calibrated, leaving the factory. However, if recalibrated is required, please follow these steps. Scalpel. Scalpel. <laughs> right. Cloth. Turn and hold the wheel clockwise to max travel point and push the throttle forwards as far as possible. Then turn on the transmitter. <laughs> Sorry. Right, right. <laughs> right let go, go. This is going to be a really long video. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Right. So Cl- push forward. Clockwise. Clockwise. And then turn on. I haven't got the edge left. <laughs> turn on the transmitter. Okay. Right. Before we do this, yeah. it will enter calibration mode. The buzzer sound shortly in a circle for prompt. <laughs> the buzzer sounds shortly in circles for prompt. Right. Okay. Turn the steering wheel max level clockwise and anti-clockwise. Then push and pull the trigger backwards or forwards as far as it will go. Okay. And then, hold on, we ain't finished yet. The wheel and trigger back into neutral position. They've got to do all this in one go. Right, okay. <laughs> this is a bit like having one of those PlayStations. You know the Sega Mega system? Yes. You had to do that cheat code before you could, uh, on Alex, stick it up, down, left, right, Y, A, B, C. Yes. Yeah, it's one of those. It is. Uh, fully. Right, you ready? On. On. What was the next bit? Wait for the buzzing, which it's now doing. We have a pulse. Uh, <laughs> now you are going to rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise to full positions. See it? And then trigger up and down. And then release both into neutral position. Once the calibration is finished, by pressing the bind key and save to exit. Bind key, push bind key. Bind. Yep. There we go. Release. Alright, we're going to do this for the third time, but I don't think it's working. So... I'm going to switch it all off. <clears throat> Hold the wheel clockwise. That's clockwise. And it says push the throttle forwards as far as possible, which I've now done. And then turn on the transmitter. That is it. We'll enter the calibration mode. The buzzer will sound shortly. Turn the steering wheel to max and min travel points clockwise and anti-clockwise. So that's... So that's that sorted it. Then it says uh, with the push and pull the trigger forwards and backwards as far as it can go. So we're going to pull it forwards, push it back, back into neutral. Once the calibration is finished, push the bind key. And it just does that. All right, as G Dog's being a bit of a wuss. Uh, I'm not ruining my brand new truck. <laughs> I am going to do this because 
it is the most uh, comments we've had, and I suspect this as well. And really, if I can't send it back, then uh, uh, maybe I'll just plead to him and say, well, look, can you at least send me an ESC? I did try to do a bit of problem solving. It didn't work. Um, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to bypass the on-off switch. So we're going to we're going to cut these two cables here and bypass them and see if that brings these back to life. If it does, if it doesn't, well, we'll deal with the consequences afterwards. Right, forceps. I'm trying to find some. Scalpel. Finding some. Man, the guy's dying on the table here. <laughs> all right, cut the wire. The red one or the black one? They're all black. Just, just, just cut one. I don't care. Not the antenna though. Not that, not that, <laughs> not that one. one. Okay. We are going to be gentle. We have three, two, one. Hey! Oh. <laughs> there we go. Look, they are now cut. Just uh, joined them together. Now I'm going to plug a battery in and uh, see if we get any red light appear on the ESC. G dog doesn't blow it up by plugging it into the wrong. Things. You haven't plugged anything into your ESC. <laughs> I'm not touching it, it's not mine. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You just plug this bit in here. Okay. Oh, oh. We got life. Okay. It's alive. It's alive. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you get this problem uh, your uh, in the bottom box, then it will be your on and off switch. So, back alive and back driving. So I guess their on and off switches probably aren't very waterproof, but they show it driving through water. Yeah. I mean, come on in don't worry about him he's having a senior moment um, <laughs> so there you go I uh, bit the bullet because I had a very very strong suspicion that that was the problem and then I noticed a lot of people saying the same thing I'm like well it's kind of what I was my first go to there it is fix the problem straight away so um, what are you going to do with yours I'm not cutting mine I'm going to wait and see what response we get people that won't yeah. cut now we mind, still so. have an issue with your one not going forwards Forward. so we've tried different binds the bind did a different handset tried everything it still does it so that would tell me that's an ESC problem mm -hmm. uh, or the motor but I don't think so I don't know can't see it being the motor but I fixed my trucks well done <laughs> I got two now <laughs> Even G Dog trucks act like G Dog. What have you done to it? <laughs> it's having a senior moment. It's just. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we found the problems. Um, so, the dead problem, if anybody else is suffering from it, is the on and off switch. The on and off switch is clearly sensitive to water and being left wet, possibly for a long period of time, causing corrosion. Either way, it was the on and off switch. So the disco is alive, just bypassed the two wires, and the D90 were about to bypass the on and off switch on that as well. But I have to take my hat off to MFMS because they got back to me in about three to four days yeah. uh, with an answer. I supplied a video of evidence, and they've literally just said, look, we'll send you three brand new SCFs, uh, uh, sorry, ESCs, in the post so that will cure the d11 because the d11 isn't a problem with the on and off switch it's completely it's just doesn't know what it, it just doesn't have reverse it's it we've tried recalibrating the handset and everything like that but we've got three working trucks now where we only had one so we're going to bypass the uh on and off switch on the d90 and get that alive <laughs> What you're going to need to do, if it's not under warranty, because I have to say, FMS have been fantastic. They didn't really question it. I mean, at the end of the day, they can see my 
receipt of purchase and everything like that so we're going to get a pair of cutters on here and cut this cable tie because that's holding all of the cables together and then we're going to isolate the two wires going into the on and off switch and get them cut and then joined together okay so once you've cut the little cable tie you need to get that out of the way and then you've got to kind of sieve through your cables and kind of isolate your on and off switch be careful because hidden in amongst all those switches is your antenna switch you don't really want to be cutting that and this one is for your lights and this is your on and off switch cable so there's two of those and all we need to do i think what we'll do g dog is we'll get a battery in it now before we cut it we'll just prove to everybody that it's dead as a doornail there's battery one in. already in there prepared earlier here's one he did earlier makes a change it is uh right and we're gonna we've got that i mean there's no light coming on the esc or anything you'll see a little red light blinking just here it's absolutely nothing oh Ooh, did that just oh i want the phone back man no. right so it's clearly he's definitely a connection issue in the on and off switch yeah i can kind of get it to oh no way no but that's that's still an off switch problem no so is that the right one or the wrong one it's the right one is it are you sure because it's still blinking no that's your gear that won't change it <laughs> um hold on let's let's rebind let's see if we can bind this because it's blinking at the moment so it shouldn't blink so let's um oh ladies and gentlemen there you go unexpected recovery yeah but that's still not good because well the on and off switch is faulty but you don't need to perform the surgery because FMS is sending a new one. Cool. Okay. So there's clearly a connection issue in there because I was literally pinging it with my nail and then it come alive. Which it didn't do anything at all. No, no, which so. is really good. Okay. Superb. So it's definitely clear that inside those little switches, I bet you any money there's corrosion. Yeah. I'd probably take mine apart at some point just to see inside it. Um... I've got mine working. I so think I, when the new ones come, if this is going to be a problem, it's reactive train. We have water. We don't always get back down here. So other than having to completely dry them out, which you're not going to do because you're not going to get inside the on and off switch, I might actually disassemble my on and off switch and coat it in some clear nail varnish. Mm, okay. Stop the corrosion happening or stop the terminals. Yeah. But we, you know, Land Rover's now working the d90s working. Oh, the, the, the d90s. yeah i mean, yeah. You, I mean that was, it was you got flip the switch yeah and it was kind of coming yeah it was like a slight pulse coming and then suddenly it was alive again how long that lasts for i don't know that might we might get a battery out of it and then try and switch it back on again and, and it don't work but um right we're just going to recap on what's going on with the d110 all right, so this one is a completely different fault to these two. These two were definitely the on and off switches. Uh, this one, it's some type of communication problem between the transmitter and the ESC. Uh, now, I, you know, on the last video we posted, we did have a few people saying, you know, they, they didn't even manage to bind their controller with their ESCs and stuff like that. So there, maybe there's a few little uh, bugs or glitches in the system. But we're just going to get G-Dog to fire it up. And watch the magic hands work and it all just works. I take it you switched it and checked it before the video? I did, yes. Okay, cool. It's still doing the same thing then? It's still doing the oh, same okay, thing. Okay, cool. It still steers. Otherwise we'll look like a right bunch of Muppets. I look like that anyway. <laughs> so I have steering. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have nothing. And that's pushing up and it goes backwards, yeah. 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 So yeah. So we got no throttle control. And then we did the we did go to the manual and we checked the calibration. We recalibrated it. You have need about five different pairs of fingers and hands to do it. But you know, um, got that done. But it still didn't make no difference. We've tried binding new handsets with it. Still didn't make no difference. 
Um, so good on and off switch. Yeah, on and off switch is still working, but the ESC is still <laughs> is still not playing ball. No. So there you go. Um, problem solved. Uh, FMS straight in there. No questions asked. Um, they obviously I did send them a link to the video, so you know it wasn't like we were trying and, to and an email and but, an email. Yeah, but nothing, nothing no. gnarly. Just saying, you know, look, just can you advise? You know, that's what I normally start. I don't go. You know, ah, oh, you've sold us some dodgy stuff. I never ever start emails like that. I always go, you know, can you advise on these faults? Is there things that we can try and do to rectify them? Um, and you know, here's a video of what's going on. Really, you know, you can't fault them. The ESCs are out of stock at the moment, so we do have to wait for them to come in stock before we can get going. <laughs> but you know, we've got three up and running now. Yeah. So, um, you know, if G Dog actually wanted to run the 110, he could probably just strip the ESC out of the D90 and swap over for now. Uh, but really, the trophy, uh, or the camel trophies are back on the trails. Yes, yeah. And heading to FMS. Yeah. And we, yeah, ESCs without you know on their way which is fantastic so uh yeah all good so if you are having these problems then yeah let us know in the link below um and you know make sure if you are still within your warranty of your vehicle which to be fair most of you should be uh get get, get on fms they're really helpful really quick to reply so yeah can't grumble at all no Nice one. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to Reactive Terrain, uh, covering all things mini oh, RCs. Things. And courses. Do and we? I don't know what we do. And um, everything. Yeah, everything. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, remember the whole routine. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, and the notification bell. And, and I'll, I'll see, see you next time. time.